In this lesson, we are going to talk about what happens to the solid waste in the digester or the remains in the bio digester. What we have said about bio digesters is that it treats solid waste water and then it also treats the solid waste itself. So the question of where what happens to the digester solid waste is key and it's one of the questions that you'll be required to answer most of the time. Likely, there are two forms of treating the solid waste. One of them, in which we are going to learn later, is the use of organic manure, which can be added to the solid waste in terms of the digester bed, so that with time, after a couple of years, the solid waste remains that has been treated by the microorganisms will also become like the manure, which can easily be disposed of. In the other way, when you use the porous system and the biodigester technology or biofill biodigester technology, the solid waste breaks down through the use of the bioenzyme or through the use of the chemical or simply by the microorganisms that are in the digester, will break down and will break it into soluble water that also permeates the porous and then it goes away as water, liquid water that goes away into the so-called or into wherever it must go. So there are two forms of the of the of the solid waste. If there remains in the digester, like the tissue paper, which can be allowed when it's done well. Remember when we started doing the biodigesters, we were not using tissue paper, we were not allowing tissue papers in them. It was mainly because of the wire mesh that we were using. Because then those acidic water content from the, the human waste corrode this wire mesh. And then with time you will be forced to go and have them removed and then replaced again that was not good for most people's business because they mean that they were being called to go back and replace a spot or corroded wire mesh so when the new technology of using the chippings and the porous came up then those problems did not come up again because then the solid waste permeates the the porous and then it dissolves into water and then it goes away when you use the materials which we'll be discussing later in terms of the materials that you are going to use for the digester when you use all those materials and stuff and things that comes with it then the solid waste break down into pieces and then it can easily be disposed of if there are some remains like the tissue paper and other things in them then you are required to remove those things at a time depending on how many years or how many users are going to use the facility those remains can be taken out when it's time for servicing or maintenance is due those ones can be taken out and then it can be covered nicely and then it can be disposed of at the backyard otherwise depending on the situation that you find yourself the solid waste can also break down and then it turns into water and then it goes away or if you use the manure or you use the organic waste organic manure together with the coconut husk then that one will form and the manure is then can be harvested and it can be used depending on the environment in which you find yourself most of the time if you are doing the digester in a local area where you have the hay, the green grass and you have all these stuffs that are easily accessible in the environment then it's best to use them because then they are good for the environment and then when you harvest the manure or you harvest the remains in the digester it can be used to help grow crops wherever you find yourself if you're in a big city it's difficult to have a place to dispose of those ones so then we will advise that if you're in a big city then you do the digesters that will allow the water or the solid waste to, to, to turn into water or to break down, the solid waste to break down and then it can be easily disposed of through the so-called pit.